Hey everybody, it's Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place. <laughs> Welcome. I'm so glad you joined me today. You know what? Yeah, you caught me reading um, one of my beach reads, which I haven't done beach reviews yet, but they'll be coming up. Maybe a little late for some of us. I don't know. But I got to read them first, right? But this one I've already told you I've been in the midst of is Ellen Hildebrand's The Hotel Nantuck. It is linked in my Amazon storefront under book club along with a lot of others that I've already read or ones I'm hoping to read. Today, what are we doing? The sitting room, but it's not just my sitting room for summer because the beginning of August is our wedding anniversary and this year will be our 44th. So um, you'd think we'd be going somewhere really fantastic. And actually there is one night somewhere that he's taking me that's a surprise an overnight um, and my husband was uh, asked if I, I wanted to help him as he was looking at some of these bed and breakfasts and stuff and the more I looked you guys the more I was like we have so much here in this home that a lot of times you know when you're living in your home you don't staycation you know because there's laundry to do there's people showing up uh, you got to make dinner, etc. So I am going to work really hard to make this area up here where our bedroom, bath, and sitting area is as though this is our little bed and breakfast. And I'm going to hopefully show you how I'm doing that. I don't know if it's all going to fit on this video. I'll try and do the decor a little faster than usual. But the truth is I had to rethink my sink and um, fridge area from the way I had it storage wise, etc., in order to pull this off. So if you're excited about a little bit more summer decor, trying to create a space that maybe just even on the weekends, you just say, hey, for this eight hours, we are on staycation. This is a video for you. So not much is changing. I think at Christmas I put out, I think at Christmas, I'm not sure, I put out these fur um, throws on these two sitting uh, chases. And I just can't, I mean, I love them. I love them year round because if I'm chilled in the air conditioning, this, it's just, it's still just perfect. I love the weight of it. Not sure I've shown you these pillows before. Absolutely gorgeous. They are real shells on there, stitched in. I don't even know how they did it. Doubt that it was hand done. But when we were unpacking, I found those and it was like, okay, this is perfect. I can't improve on it. So none of this is changing. Um, I think once I've rearranged, before we got that piece of furniture, this piece of furniture in, I may have had the chaises on the other side um, and it is a longer wall. However, I moved them over here because this door is the door that opens all the time. You have to open that door first and if you wanna open that door. So the truth is then, if I'm gonna open this, you know, I have room to take this all the way as far as I need to and I don't even need to open that door. But if the chase was there, I would have only been able to open it this far. So that's why we moved it. All right, not moving anything out of here. I got an extra set of coasters down on the bottom, binoculars, just because sometimes there's something to look at outside. And love this table, absolutely love it. I still love this, however, I'm, oh, I don't think I'll change it because I'm, I'm looking at the sky color and I'm looking at the wall color and I don't think I can make it any better. But I do have another picture that's a beach picture that I want to hang in the house. And I, I think I found a place for it, but I had considered it here. But when I look at this and I look at this frame, I mean, I have loved this from the day I had it framed, which if you haven't seen that video, this is like a $20 poster that I bought 
And then I had the company that framed it do a treatment to the poster. It's, it sounds like cardboard, so I guess they've um, attached it to something. It looks like canvas on there, and then they've um, done a treatment to where it looks hand brushed literally has wrinkles that you can touch in there so really exquisite and then the details I, it was the most expensive picture i ever had made i tell my my children that so that they don't just toss it in a garage sale someday when i'm gone but you know the edging here on this and this is a linen suede that's what they call it it's a linen suede and then we have this exquisite frame so and and i love that it's beat up distressed. I love it all. All right. And then down here we have my lamp, which when I unpacked it, it's never moved. So I've got it shifted to the side right now, which that could probably throw some of you very symmetrical people off. But I'm bringing back a sign that I had last year when we first moved in. And it's take me to the sea. And I really wanted that to have not be offset. I kind of wanted that to be my center. So it's not quite the center, but it's good enough for me. I like that there. Very simple tablescape I'm doing here. I'm going to add a little piece, very little piece of decor, keeping a little touch of my pink. Because as you're going to see, like my bedroom, I've gone much more blue in here. Um, but I want to keep some of that pink from romancing the home in here. Um, if you watched my uh, bathroom I think the one that is about my tub, mostly, video, you'll know that I have um, bought this candle um, at Pottery Barn years ago. I have burned this one. I love the smell of the Egyptian cotton. And then one of my magazines. I just like to have a magazine here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, though. This I don't like, see? I am symmetrical when it comes to... I just want to make sure... <laughs> not sure about that. I don't like that. Let's flip you over. Okay. I mean, it's just, this part has to be straight for me. Okay. That's one of my magazines. I get Southern Home and Summer Living. I love it, love it, love it. So that's it. This section is done. I just feel totally relaxed here. Um, I love to come here and edit. I love to come here and read a book. If I'm chatting on the phone and I happen to be upstairs, this is gonna be where I'm gonna be. My husband seems to claim this spot because I, if I pile stuff up here, he goes, why is my chair all piled up and not yours? But the truth is we both like this spot because it's next to the window where you've got the view. So when you're sitting down there, you still can see out. Okay, now we're gonna do my chest. All right, here's my chest, emptied out. It has two more shelves in it, but because of what I like to put in there, I really like it just this way. So I end up with three spaces to decorate. On the top, I've left my, I'm pretty sure that's a cap capizza shell dish. I love that one, it was from Pier One. I just think it's gorgeous in here. And even though you can't read that so great, um, I know what it says. And we're the only ones really up here. And it just says, you will always be my forever. And I picked that up at Michael's uh, this past spring. So let's decorate. I'm going to start at the top shelf and we'll go from there. What's the purpose of this? I mean, it could have lots of purposes. If uh, this was much more, I have shelves over there for like dishes and things for being up here like this, but you know, I could definitely put a little bunch of dishes in here. I could totally do books. I mean, it definitely could be a bookcase, but when something has glass on it and light above it, a lot of times it's made for decor so that it shines through and highlights them. So I'm just using things that make me happy, that um, speak to textures and colors that blend in this room without jumping out at me. And I know that sounds odd because you know I love color, 
But in this space up here, most of the time I keep it very muted. Um, I don't know why. It's, it's just my personality when I'm up in my, my bedroom. So the first thing is this little picture that I got, or it's, I don't know, it's a writing one. It says, you're my favorite place to be. And I got this one at the same time I got the sign up there at Michael's this year, this spring. I've got a clear little plate holder. And I'm going to, here, let's get you more face on here. With the chases there, it's a little tough. Okay. Since there's only light at the top, the last thing I want to do is block it. It's nice if the light can get all the way down. It's not going to, but I'm going to do my best to try and not block it right away. And this is a really faded picture. We could do a better job, but it's in here. So um, let's see. I haven't read this. I'll show you the picture really quick. And there's my husband and I, oh, golly, three years ago, I guess, in... Um, Arizona, we were touring uh, some kind of farm or something, not a farm. They don't have farms in Arizona. I, well, maybe they do, but uh, it was a wildlife area that we were at. Okay, this says, if I had to choose between loving you and breathing, I would use my last breath to say that I love you. Oh, that's sweet. I just, you know, I found this at TJ Maxx for sure. Um, $6.99, good job. <laughs> All right, I'm balancing the two. So what's going on in between? I'm gonna take um, another one of these small corals. I used um, the sister of it over on the table. So I'm mirroring it in the same room. I have co uh, coral like this in our bathroom, but it is aqua. And I'm not putting it on that side because that side has the pink already. So I'm trying to draw that color over here for balance. These are, I told you I bought a lot of these in, they were like a dollar, I believe, at Hobby Lobby this year around Easter. So they came in pink, white, or cream, and um, gray. And I know I bought at least 12 of these because I thought you could use them somehow at your place settings. But so far, they've just made it around my, as candle holders in my house. Um, doesn't look like I have the batteries in this. Let me check, maybe they've already gone out. Yeah, no, I know that I'm out. Those are AAA. I know I'm out of AAAs right now. So I can't put anything in it, but it's one that moves and I think it's really pretty. Um, I'm actually going to put that in the center to balance because I'm bringing in a lot of this pink and cream still. So to draw some of that gray over here, I'm leaving a bunny that I had from Easter, but bunnies are still out right now. And this one's so cute. I'm going to set him right there. And then even though that's not a real candle, I'm going to put a dark candle stuffer on this side. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm going to put these up here, but I feel like I'm not sure that I might be overdoing it. I'll let you know at the end because I'll balance everything. Oh, but that looks really cute there. <laughs> okay, my lights are on the two sides. So if I put something in the center that's solid, it's not really going to affect the light coming through. So I'm going to start with some books on the second shelf. I mentioned some of the things I like to do on the chaise. Um, a couple of them that I forgot is write. I love to write um, and then do my devotions. So I keep devotion books in here and I've, I've had these linked before. Um, but I don't think I have them in an Amazon storefront. So I'll start that. This will, I'll, I don't know what I'll call it. It'll probably be Christian books and gifts or something like that for adults. I already have one for children, but, um, so this is one is a little God time. This is really, um, it, you open it up and there's a devotion, but then there's a little place to write and reflect. Devotions for the beach is the one I got last year when I moved in. I loved, I started this every morning. Unshakable, I haven't started yet. So those are those three. 
And I'm going to put the heavy blue one on the bottom, purpose in that, uh, to balance this out. And then on top of it, I'm going to put my Bible. I'm a little embarrassed to show you this. I have a lot of Bibles. Um, this one is called Sanctuary, but it is so beat up. Uh, the, the leatherette that goes around it has come off. And I've, I absolutely adore the cover, which also is, it's like a cloth. And um, the writing inside is aqua blue. And I've tried to find it. They don't make it anymore. So there's nothing special about it. It's the New Living Translation, but there's nothing special. Like I have other Bibles that have things added to them. Oh, well, it does. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay, so the in, inside of this one has um, my daily sanctuary. It has some scripture, and then it has a devotion. Um, it. So I find that I love these kind of things. So it's throughout the entire Bible, you're going to find these. So it just kind of helps you to take God's word and then, you know, have something else that spills into it. So um, fortunately for me, the ugly part of this is not going to be seen. So that's on top. And now you'll see why I balanced the blue on the bottom with the blue on the top. Okay, on top of it, I'm going to bring a little height and a little color that's unexpected in this space. There's a little hint of pink, little sage green, and of course a little lavender. And I got this at Walmart. It is the cutest little stone, and it really is a glass type thing. And then these beautiful little sprigs of lavender. I just think they're so pretty. I think I got it there. You know what? I, who knows where I got it now? I sit here think I'm thinking back and wondering, did I get it there? Did I get it at Michael's? I might have got it at Michael's. But that totally covers up the ugliness there. Brings me some height to balance the two things on either side. See, I've kind of made a triangle design there. And um, I like that. I don't want a lot of little stuff on this shelf. This is my pretty much my eye level shelf, and it's the tallest one. So I'm going to put some high impact design in there. One of them is this. It's nice and sturdy. The other side will have more of a vignette to it. My go-to. I mean, this is <laughs> this is one of my favorite pictures from. Yeah, this was last year. Last May, a year ago, May, we went to on vacation with our grand boys, and um, you know that's my hair when I'm at the beach in the humidity, and there's nothing I can do about it. It starts out like this because I've curled it, and then it turns into that. But oh my goodness, we had such a lovely time there, and I love to have memories of. I have love to have memories. Period. But memories by the sea takes me over the top. I've had this in here. Let's see. TJ Maxx, $7.99. Um, hmm. Wow. I don't know what the scent is. They covered it up, but it smells beautiful and it's keeping a little bit of my pink. You're seeing more pink in here still. And another high impact thing, which is a really rough piece of coral.
Okay, there it is. It's definitely too heavy over here compared to this side. But I'm going to do one more thing and we'll see then if I need to add. One of my daughter-in-laws had this made for me. Our greatest blessings call us Dovey and Pops. And then it has all of our grandkids, except we've had three this year. So I'm hoping, I've got spaces out here, hoping for the new ones' names to show up soon. But I like to have that somewhere where I can see it. So I'm just popping it in front of this. And yeah, I still think I need a little something there, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next shelf and see what I have left, okay? Let's show you this for now. Okay, the last shelf. I've had this in here before. It actually, if you look closely at that, it really is um, pulling off of the frame over there, the same kind of distressed color and this, I don't know what you wanna call that in there, but the trim on this is like the trim on my frame. And this is just a wooden bowl a little eucalyptus wreath. It still has the price tag on it. I'm gonna put the heavy things on the two sides this time. My heavy thing is here, here, and, and there. So I'm gonna kind of make a, like a domino of five. In the center of that, I'm gonna repeat the same thing I had upstairs from the top shelf, but it's gonna be inside that wooden bowl. On the other side, I'm gonna do a couple books. I have a couple more of the chat books. You saw these downstairs um, that I had in my console styling. Um, this is one that my daughter made me. Um, golly, I don't know. It's still, it's been a few years. Been a few years. Um, and that was one of our Christmas pictures. And then this is one that my daughter-in-law made me of one of my granddaughters. When It's just uh, dedicated to her first year of birth. So I'm setting that there. On top of it... You've seen me use this many times. It is a, I would assume, like a jewelry box type thing, although I find it so beautiful with that burden and um, all the pretty trim work on it. So what I put in here are playing cards that we picked up at on our last trip uh, on the Princess Cruise. And when we're... Um, when we go on a vacation, sometimes we'll want to play games that are just for two people. And as I said, so far you haven't seen me doing anything that really pertains to our staycation, but this will be the first thing that you'll notice. Okay, in the center, I'm going to put this Darling I Couldn't Love You More If I Tried. It's got the gray and the pink in it, so... The same color scheme is going through. It's even got a little green wreath around it. I really like that there. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that bottom shelf as it is. So let's just see here. I really like it this way. I think, here, let me move you this way so you can get it straight on. Okay, so I added just a seashell here. It's not a lot. I had it on this, but that's too much. So don't want that there. But I think I would like a candle over here 
behind that a little one and I don't have one in here right now so for the moment that's not going to be in here I'm going to go look and see if I can find something and then we'll do a close-up on it okay I went on a hunt this was probably in this room at one point this year anyway but it's got the pink and the sagey green in it and then the white and I love the texture it's a candle but it's very decorative even without that so um, I still want to do it's pretty on its own but I still want to get a little height in it since I'm putting it behind something. So I am going to set it on top of here. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing in here and then I'll have a little chat real quick. I've had this vase down here, oh, it's so heavy, for ever since I started showing you the decor, even at Christmas, I had something in here. And so when, again, when we were unpacking, I found exactly what I had bought to go in these years ago. I got these branches, they're very, um, they're a little shiny, if, if you can't tell, and they're silver. Um, and I bought these at Pier 1, where I probably also bought the vase, I think. But I just love this. And when I step back and show it to you in the room, it just is, it's light and airy. It gives a beachy feel, even though it's not coral. It has that feel to me, but it's branches. Okay, you guys. I'm going to stop the video today with the decor for the main part of the sitting room. And I'm going to come back this week with the two cubbies that we have in the sitting room that have the sink and the refrigerator in them. I'm going to tell you how I'm preparing for our staycation. And I hope you'll join me. Um, you know, it'll be a way that you could turn your rooms into places that you feel like you're away for the weekend and you're in a lovely bed and breakfast. So I can't wait to join you again next time. And I hope that you'll give me a like. And if you're new, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I want to thank all my viewers, every single one of you. It matters to me. I love it. I love that you're taking your time to spend with me. Even if I never get to hear from you on the comments, you know that I see how many views I'm having. And so I know there's a lot of people out there that I may never hear from. I just appreciate you coming back time after time. I really do. And I'm going to see you next time. Make your home your happy place. Bye-bye. <laughs>